Mercury is the smallest planet in the solar system and the closest to the Sun. Its orbit around the Sun takes 87.97 Earth days, the shortest of all the Sun's planets. It is named after the Roman god Mercurius, god of commerce, messenger of the gods, and a mediator between gods and mortals. Like Venus, Mercury orbits the Sun within Earth's orbit as an inferior planet, and its apparent distance from the Sun as viewed from Earth never exceeds 28 degrees. This proximity to the Sun means the planet can only be seen near the western horizon after sunset or the eastern horizon before sunrise, usually in twilight. From Earth, the planet telescopically displays the complete range of phases, similar to Venus and the Moon, which recurs over its synodic period of approximately 116 days. Venus is the second planet from the Sun. It is named after the Roman goddess of love and beauty. As the brightest natural object in Earth's night sky after the Moon, Venus can cast shadows and can be, on rare occasions, visible to the naked eye in broad daylight. Venus lies within Earth's orbit, and so never appears to venture far from the Sun, either setting in the west just after dusk or rising in the east a little while before dawn. Venus orbits the Sun every 224.7 Earth days. With a sidereal rotation period of 243 Earth days and a synodic day length of 117 Earth days, it takes significantly longer to rotate about its axis than any other planet in the solar system, and does so in the opposite direction to all but Uranus. Venus does not have any moons, a distinction it shares only with Mercury among the planets in the solar system. Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only astronomical object known to harbor and support life. About 29.2% of Earth's surface is land consisting of continents and islands. The remaining 70.8% is covered with water mostly by oceans, seas, gulfs, and other saltwater bodies, but also by lakes, rivers, and other freshwater, which together constitute the hydrosphere. Much of Earth's polar regions are covered in ice. Earth's outer layer is divided into several rigid tectonic plates that migrate across the surface over many millions of years, while its interior remains active with a solid iron inner core a liquid outer core that generates Earth's magnetic field, and a convective mantle that drives plate tectonics. Mars is the fourth planet from the Sun and the second smallest planet in the solar system, being larger than only Mercury. In English, Mars carries the name of the Roman god of war and is often referred to as the Red Planet. The latter refers to the effect of the iron oxide prevalent on Mars's surface, which gives it a reddish appearance distinctive among the astronomical bodies visible to the naked eye. Mars is a terrestrial planet with a thin atmosphere, with surface features reminiscent of the impact craters of the Moon and the valleys, deserts and polar ice caps of Earth. The days and seasons are comparable to those of Earth, because the rotational period as well as the tilt of the rotational axis relative to the ecliptic plane are similar. Mars is the site of Olympus Mons, the largest volcano and highest known mountain on any planet in the solar system, and of Vias Marineris, one of the largest canyons in the solar system. Jupiter is the fifth planet from the Sun and the largest in the solar system. It is a gas giant with a mass more than two and a half times that of all the other planets in the solar system combined, but slightly less than one thousandth the mass of the Sun. Jupiter is the third brightest natural object in the Earth's night sky after the Moon and Venus. It has been observed since prehistoric times and is named after the Roman god Jupiter, the king of the gods, because of its observed size. Jupiter is primarily composed of hydrogen but helium comprises one quarter of its mass and one tenth of its volume. It likely has a rocky core of heavier elements, but like the other giant planets, Jupiter lacks a well-defined solid surface. The ongoing contraction of its interior generates heat greater than the amount received from the Sun. 
Because of its rapid rotation, the planet's shape is that of an oblate spheroid. The outer atmosphere is visibly segregated into several bands at different latitudes, with turbulence and storms along their interacting boundaries. Saturn is the sixth planet from the Sun and the second largest in the solar system, after Jupiter. It is a gas giant with an average radius of about nine and a half times that of Earth. It only has one-eighth the average density of Earth, however, with its larger volume, Saturn is over 95 times more massive. Saturn is named after the Roman god of wealth and agriculture. Saturn's interior is most likely composed of a core of iron nickel and rock. Its core is surrounded by a deep layer of metallic hydrogen, an intermediate layer of liquid hydrogen and liquid helium, and finally a gaseous outer layer. Saturn has a pale yellow hue due to ammonia crystals in its upper atmosphere. An electrical current within the metallic hydrogen layer is thought to give rise to Saturn's planetary magnetic field, which is weaker than the Earth's, but which has a magnetic moment 580 times that of Earth due to Saturn's larger size. Saturn's magnetic field strength is around 1 20th of Jupiter's. The outer atmosphere is generally bland and lacking in contrast, although long-lived features can appear. Uranus is the seventh planet from the Sun. Its name is a reference to the Greek god of the sky, Uranus. It has the third largest planetary radius and fourth largest planetary mass in the solar system. Uranus is similar in composition to Neptune, and both have bulk chemical compositions which differ from that of the larger gas giants Jupiter and Saturn. For this reason, scientists often classify Uranus and Neptune as ice giants to distinguish them from the other giant planets. Uranus's atmosphere is similar to Jupiter's and Saturn's in its primary composition of hydrogen and helium, but it contains more ices such as water, ammonia, and methane, along with traces of other hydrocarbons. It has the coldest planetary atmosphere in the solar system, with a minimum temperature of 49 Kelvin, and has a complex, layered cloud structure with water thought to make up the lowest clouds and methane the uppermost layer of clouds. The interior of Uranus is mainly composed of ices and rock. Neptune is the eighth and farthest known solar planet from the Sun. In the solar system, it is the fourth largest planet by diameter, the third most massive planet, and the densest giant planet. Neptune is denser and physically smaller than Uranus because its greater mass causes more gravitational compression of its atmosphere. The planet orbits the Sun once every 164.8 years at an average distance of 4.5 billion kilometer. It is named after the Roman god of the sea. Neptune is not visible to the unaided eye and is the only planet in the solar system found by mathematical prediction rather than by empirical observation. Unexpected changes in the orbit of Uranus led Alexis Bouvard to deduce that its orbit was subject to gravitational perturbation by an unknown planet. Neptune was subsequently observed with a telescope on September 23, 1846 by Johann Gall within a degree of the position predicted by Le Verrier. Its largest moon, Triton, was discovered shortly thereafter, though none of the planet's remaining 13 known moons were located telescopically until the 20th century. Pluto is a dwarf planet in the Kuiper Belt, a ring of bodies beyond the orbit of Neptune. It was the first and the largest Kuiper Belt object to be discovered. After Pluto was discovered in 1930, it was declared to be the ninth planet from the Sun. Beginning in the 1990s, its status as a planet was questioned following the discovery of several objects of similar size in the Kuiper Belt and the scattered disk, including the dwarf planet Eris. This led the International Astronomical Union in 2006 to formally define the term planet, excluding Pluto and reclassifying it as a dwarf planet. Pluto is the ninth largest and tenth most massive known object directly orbiting the Sun. It is the largest known trans-Neptunian object by volume but is less massive than Eris. It has a moderately eccentric and inclined orbit during which it ranges from 4.4 to 7.4 billion km from the Sun. This means that Pluto periodically comes closer to the Sun than Neptune, but a stable orbital resonance with Neptune prevents them from colliding. Thank you for watching our video, hope you enjoyed it. Please leave a like and subscribe, and don't forget to click the bell to be notified about our future videos. We'll be uploading one video per week, we're looking forward to seeing you again.